Hello, budding naturalists. Have you ever wondered how many different types of animal live in your neighborhood? You might be surprised by what you find. What you're experiencing when you observe these different kinds of animals is something called biodiversity. Biodiversity is a measurement of how many different types of living creatures are in a given place. We have an extremely high level of biodiversity here on Earth, and you can see the proof of it in the animals you find in your backyard. Want to see it for yourself? We challenge you to find and identify as many different types of animal as you can right outside your back door. In this video, we'll walk through how to identify some examples of birds and bugs that we tend to see in our backyard in Tacoma. There are about 18,000 different species of birds that we know about, and each one is special and unique. They all have their own important jobs to do to help the ecosystem stay balanced and healthy. Birds can be identified by sight and by sound. Different species have unique physical features that we can use to tell them apart, but they also have unique songs and calls that we can use as another way to figure out who they are. Here are some common species that you might see. Number one, the American crow. These are relatively large black birds with a loud chanting call. They are clever scavengers who've been known to use tools to get what they want. Number two, the black-capped chickadee. These tiny birds have white cheeks with a black face and head. They are very chatty and tend to hang out in trees and bushes. Number three, the northern flicker. These fancy looking fellas are a type of large woodpecker. Like other woodpeckers, their tail feathers are extra stiff, which helps support their weight when they perch on the trunks of trees. Number four, the dark-eyed drunko. These birds are a type of sparrow with a gray head and light-colored beak and belly. They are one of the most common bird species in North America and can be found across the entire continent. Number five, the California scrub jay. These are medium-sized blue and gray birds with a loud, angry-sounding call. They can be very curious and they love to eat acorns. Number six, hummingbirds. There are two main species of hummingbird commonly found in Tacoma, the Anna's hummingbird and the Rufus hummingbird. Hummingbirds are tiny, speedy birds with long beaks and shiny feathers. They have special shoulder joints that allow them to flap their wings in a figure eight shape so they can hover in one place while feeding on flower nectar. Now let's move on to bugs. Bugs are everywhere. There are around 200 million insects for each person on Earth, and they all have a role to play in their ecosystem. Some bugs may seem scary, but they have no intention of hurting you as long as you give them space. Bugs have all kinds of specialized parts that help them perform their role, resulting in a wide variety of appearances. Look around, especially around plants and flowers, to see if you can spot some of these. Number one, ladybugs. These insects are easily identified by their bright red-orange shell. In fact, there are actually two species to watch out for. The invasive Asian lady beetle has many spots and a white W shape on its head, whereas the native ladybug has fewer spots and no head mark. Number two, spiders. Spiders are arachnids. They have eight legs and often many eyes. Although some can be dangerous, Spiders in general are not interested in interacting with people, and many help us by eating pest bugs around the house. Three, bees. There are two main types of bees you're likely to see. Bumblebees are large, round, and fuzzy with thick black and yellow stripes. Honeybees are smaller with thinner yellow and brown stripes. Bees eat nectar from flowers and transfer pollen from flower to flower so the plants can reproduce. Number four, Worms and pill bugs. If you're gardening or just playing in the dirt, you may come across some earthworms and pill bugs, also known as roly polies, munching on dead plant and animal bits. They are detritivores, which means they eat decomposing plant and animal materials. Number five, butterflies. There are quite a few types of butterflies to spot with their large, beautiful wings, but one of the most common is the cabbage white butterfly. Fun fact, Males have one spot on each wing, and females have two. Number six, beetles. There are more types of beetles than any other insect, over 400,000 different species. They are identifiable by their hard, often shiny wing cases. 
Rather than trying to find out a specific species, see how many different kinds of beetles you can spot and note how they are similar or different from each other. These were just a few examples of the huge range of creatures you could come across in your own backyard. If you come across something you can't identify, check out the Biodiversity Resources page on the Slater Museum website linked in the description below. Feel free to share what you found in the comments. We'd love to hear from you.